Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in the previous video, अरे चुप हो जा पापी हो चुप हो जा. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in the previous video, we learned how to interface this keypad module with the Arduino Nano, and we were able to see the output data in the serial monitor. So in this video, we are going to learn more than the basic. So we are going to interface the system with this LCD screen. So this time, whenever we'll input the data through this keypad module, we can be able to see the data in the LCD screen as well as in the serial monitor. So let's DIY this. So these are the three components that we need for this tutorial, and uh, this is as you can see the Arduino Nano that is already mounted to a breadboard. and uh, this is the keypad module 4 cross 4 keypad module and this is a 16 cross 2 lcd screen and we use this i2c serial converter so that all these number of pins will be converted to just four pins and it will make the connection very simple so let me tell you about its connection first there are four pins vcc ground sta and scl So the VCC and ground pin will be connected to the B in and ground pin of this uh, Arduino Nano directly. Then the STA pin will be connected to A4 and SCL pin will be connected to A5 of the Arduino Nano. So it will be just like this. And here we see this there are eight pins on this uh, keypad model. So they they are going to be connected from D2 to D9. So th that that will start from right here. So that's how our connection is done. It is that simple. So now let's see in the computer, and I will explain you the code. And you don't need any kind of circuit diagram to make this one. If you understand the code properly, then by watching the code only you can connect all these things. You don't need a circuit diagram separately. So let's see in the computer and I will explain you the coding right there. So right now it's time for the coding part for that open up your Arduino IDE and this is already the code for the keypad module interfacing of the LCD. So you can check it in the description below. Uh, let me explain you the code. First of all we included the keypad.h library and how to include this one I have already told you in the previous video. and uh, okay so if you don't know then let me tell you here you can see include library and manage libraries and download your required library or you can download it from github and then add zip library this is also another method uh, so like that this is the wire.h for the lcd and uh, this is the liquid crystal i2c.h this is also for the lcd model then uh, we have declared the rows and columns four rows and four columns we have these are the pins 2 3 4 5 and 6 7 8 9 that are connected to it then uh, next this is the address of our lcd screen and this is the type 16 cross 2 so then in the next phase we have declared this character keys okay so in which place uh, what are the keys are placed so this is uh, the 2d array we created then we choose the keypad as my keypad we named it as my keypad and then keypad it will make a key map of the keys these are the keys so rows and columns are declared four and four again here so the, in the next step there is the void setup part where lcd dot init is used for uh, send command to the lcd and lcd dot backlight will turn on the backlight of the lcd that's why it's glowing green color and then the next one is serial begin 9600 uh, this will enable the serial monitor so it, so that we can see the data in the serial monitor then after that there is this void loop section where uh, character my key equal to my keypad so here we declare the my keypad so this is calling this then my keypad dot get key get key means what is the key what is the key we are giving it in the input so whatever value we will press here that is the gate key uh, then if my key equal to if my key then serial print my key that means the uh, number we have given and lcd print my key 
the same number will be seen in the LCD screen as well. So it is that simple. Now go to tools, select Arduino Nano, then processor as Arduino Nano, 8 mega 328 p old bootloader, and select the COM port, and then click on this upload. And now the code will be uploaded to this. Uh, I mean, sorry, this Arduino Nano shortly, and we can able to operate the okay so the code is uploaded to it now so now let's check this one so whenever i am clicking on one okay let me open up the serial monitor first okay here we go here is the serial monitor so as you can see right here when i am clicking on one you can see here that one is printing in the lcd screen as well as there is one in the serial monitor so let me press two similarly three four five six so all these data in the serial monitor they are in a vertical up to down but in case of lcd screen these are horizontal from left to right so that's how it's working and here you can see things like a b c d characters as well it is same as we declared in the code so like here it's start and stop are for star and hash and this is zero so that's how it's working okay so that's how you enter the data but what if you want to erase the data like i have entered a lot of numbers and uh, everything like this i want to erase all of it i want to start again so for that uh, there is no uh, backspace button here so we have to click on the reset button on the board so that will reset the code again and the screen will be clear so for now i guess that you understand this tutorial and uh, if you have any doubts then please ask me in the comment section below and uh, if you liked it then don't forget to hit on that like button and share it with everyone share this knowledge and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that uh, whenever i will create a new video you can get an instant notification so see you guys in the next one till then be cool work smart <laughs>